I'm Daniel Bornell. Daniel Taylor. And I'm Ryan Tell, and our project is Mine Away. The point of our project is for places that can be war-torn and, and where people are being killed each year by landmines. The point of our project is to keep people at a safe distance from the actual landmine, and then our project, the Mine Away, will go in, pick it up, and take it somewhere safe so that no one has to be killed. An example of a project that is similar to ours is known as the D3 machine. It contains a steel attachment at the front of it that has metal spikes on it. When those metal spikes roll over a landmine that is underneath the ground or underneath the soil, it detonates it. But the reason why our project is different is because one, it is unmanned, and two, it will not be able to cause harm to those who operate it. The claw is made out of a 3D printed plastic called PLA. To control the opening and closing of the claw, we use a servo motor. The arm itself is made of two popsicle sticks that are being stuck together by hot glue. The base of the arm is another servo motor which controls the up and down motion of the arm itself. Uh, power powering the entire system are two 9 volt batteries. The brains of it all are obviously an Arduino. We use two stepper motors uh, to control the wheels of themselves and uh, the reason why we use the stepper motors would be explained by Daniel. We use the stepper motors because the stepper motors are very precise and when we're dealing with landmines that could pot potentially kill a person, you want to be very careful and have precise movement. At first, when we were coding the stepper motor, we couldn't get both wheels to move at the same time. So in order to get around that, we had one stepper mo motor rotate a little bit, then the other rotate a little bit, and then we alternated quickly between them so it looked like it was one fluid motion. When we first started building the car, we started with the stepper motors because we needed to, be, we needed to make sure that the wheels fit, fit with the track. When, and then afterwards, we went to do the claw. At first, we chose to do a big claw, but the big claw was too heavy for the, for the servo motor, so it was too heavy and leaned forward. And then we switched to a small servo motor and a small claw, and, a, and, we, and that fixed the solution, and now they both uh, are equal. In order to communicate wirelessly, we used a mini Bluetooth chip on the, on the car so it can communicate through Bluetooth to the tablet. Whenever you press one of these buttons on the tablet, it would send a number to, to, the, Ar to the Arduino, and the Arduino we used case switches, so it read whenever it got that number, it would, it would carry out a certain function. Throughout the project, we had lots of ups and downs, and in the middle, we had a short circuit, but we figured out the problem, we fixed it, and then hopefully we'll make it even better than it is right now.